So if you listen to the corporate media, you won't know what's actually happening in Ukraine or why there's a war in Ukraine. The war in Ukraine has been provoked by NATO by, by threatening to bring Ukraine into NATO. And that was the one thing everyone knew for 25 years would provoke an attack by Russia. Plus, there's an oil pipeline involved. It's called Nord Stream 2 going right from Russia to Germany. And the United States wants the... Uh, energy the uh, oil companies in the United States to be able to get that market instead of Russia. So 40% of the energy in Europe comes from Russia and uh, the United States wants in on that market and they also so that's what this is all about. Okay. So you'll never hear that on any of the other news, but there's lots of things. We committed a coup in Ukraine in 2014. There's lots of other things that go along with that, but we've instigated this, meaning the NATO and the United States. Okay. So even now, the Pope is, is acknowledging that. The Pope says NATO started a war in Ukraine by barking at Putin's door. Hey, somebody call that TikTok lady. I need to report a see something, say something. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that before going to Kiev, this is the Pope, I must go to Moscow, he told Corriere della Sera in an interview that ran Tuesday. But the meeting would not exactly be to condemn Putin, based on what he told the paper. He said that the real scandal of Putin's war is NATO barking at Russia's door, which he said caused the Kremlin to react badly and unleash the conflict. They thought that he might be going to uh, to Moscow to condemn. He's going to take a trip to condemn Putin personally. <laughs> that's a possibility. That, that's not a possibility. <laughs> so there's the Pope saying the real scandal it's not Putin, but NATO. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> but why is it in quotes? Was he suggesting it's not a scandal and saying it ironically? Why did they I don't know what they put it in. I don't know. It is funny they put it in quotes. Oh, maybe he said scandal and they're quoting it. Maybe that's what it is. Francis repeated comments he has made in general audiences and in other interviews that the war is nothing more than a giant opportunity for a trade in arms. And that it is still ongoing because of the constant shuttling of weapons to Ukraine. So what he's saying is this is nothing but a money grab by the arms industry. That's what it sounds like to me. That's what he's saying. He has spoken twice by phone to Ukraine President Voldemort Zelensky, but mostly to urge him to not fight back. He also went to the Russian embassy to the a Holy See days at days after the invasion began to register his concerns about what was happening. That's right. He told Zelensky, don't fight. But Zelensky is a hero. He didn't run. He didn't run away when Ukraine was invaded. He actually stayed in his country. You know, the basic shit any president of any country should be reasonably expected to do. I guess it's heroic because it's unusual for that to happen in a corrupt puppet state. So I don't know. How to answer, I'm too far away. The question of whether it is right to supply the Ukrainians, he told the paper. The clear thing is that weapons are being tested there. The Russians now know that tanks are of little use and are thinking of other things. This is why wars are waged, to test the weapons we have produced. Few people are fighting this trade, but more should be done. Wow. They also call the Pope a conspiracy theorist over this. I'm not kidding. Francis, Pope Francis, veered towards conspiracy theory. Wow. What? He fell asleep on Narrative Highway and drifted into, <laughs> <laughs> into conspiracy veered, 101. Veered. Pope Francis veered toward conspiracy theory as he blamed the international community for instigating the war. You cannot think that a free state can make war on another free state, he said. In Ukraine, it seems that it was the others who created the conflict. I am pessimistic, but we must do everything possible to stop the war. Wow. And that, by the way, that's not the only conspiracy that the Pope believes. Did you know he thinks a Jewish space carpenter <laughs> landed on Earth 2,000 years ago and entrusted the Vatican with his secrets? <laughs> that's some real Dan Brown shit. <laughs> Even, oh wait. The Pope then said that in a state visit to Rome by Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, he was told the Russians have a plan and that everything will end on May 9th. Without giving any further explanation, May 9th is the day Russia celebrates its liberation and the end of World War II. 
Even the pontiff concedes that a meeting in Moscow is a long shot. I fear that Putin cannot and does not want to have this meeting at this time, he said. But how can you not stop so much brutality? So there it is. Here is uh, Mick Wallace says, Now that's really dangerous of the Pope to dare speak truth to power. Surely it must be time to sanction the Vatican. How will the political and media class of Europe cope with the idea that the NATO war machine might not be a force for good after all? Well, I got to send this to my old roommate, the Pope. He's a Catholic. And, you know, people who don't follow the news news closely, they just repeat propaganda. They they believe that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction, that Libya, we that that guy we had to invade, Syria, we all he gassed. They believe every lie that's told to them about war. Well, I mean, isn't a good part of being Catholic that you don't have to really like pay attention to anything the Pope says? Like you don't really have to do it at all. Of course. (laughs) Here's another one. Uh, Garland Nixon tweets out, looks like it's time to invade the Vatican and bring them some democracy. Pope Francis says NATO started a war in Ukraine by barking at Putin's door. I can't believe he's spreading that propaganda. That propaganda, Garland. Mark Sloboda says, I guess with Pope Francis also essentially coming out and blaming the U.S. and NATO for the root cause of Russia's intervention, that the European Union technocrats will now have to sanction both religious heads of Christianity for disagreeing with their narrative. Well, who's plus the, the NHS or the national or the Homeland Security will have to get in on that. Well, who's the other head of Christianity? Um, I, both I, religious heads of Christ. Oh, probably Russian Orthodox. I don't know Eastern Orthodox. Maybe there's the some ether. I don't know. I'm not that. I don't know. But guess I mean, what? there's more than. I don't think people. You, is <laughs> a lot there, of Christians are not Catholic. You want to see this? Pope Francis said that NATO started the war in Ukraine by barking at Putin's door. A few moments later, it said Russia state-affiliated media on the Pope's. Oh, Twitter put that on. Is that a, is a Twitter thing, like it, like a uh, label? Uh, that that is that a hoax, or did, did Twitter actually put that on? That's that's go, a go thing to, to go warn to the you. Pope's. Going right now. Malcolm put this in the keynote. I'll bet you that's I'm uh, I'm ninety percent sure that's what that is. They that's said they're real? gonna start doing that. They're gonna start identifying what's a Russian. State yeah, anything media. that goes against the government is a Russian. Did you, we're the, looking. The find the popes. Yeah, that's what it is. They're like, this it's is not on there. This is Russian. That's not on there. Oh, it's not. Is that on on there? No, no. So that's a hoax. But that would be funny. <laughs> I was right. Hilarious. My skepticism was correct. The Pope's like the Will Smith of this. Like they can't come down on him. Like. We can't break his arm, you know? <laughs> I can't. Um, so the Pope knows what's going on in Ukraine. I'm guessing because he doesn't watch CNN and MSNBC. Or Fox, for that matter. Isn't it amazing how they all have the same message? Sean Hannity, Chris Hayes, Rachel Maddow, uh, Anderson Cooper. They all have the same message about Ukraine. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's and it's amazing that it's so similar that I get enraged whenever anyone has a different message. <laughs> We're almost complete, and you're screwing it up. It is a joke. Yeah. We're doing live stand-up shows in Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, Las Vegas, all over the country. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for tickets. And single tickets now available at all venues. So if you tried to buy one before and you couldn't, single tickets are now available. Plus, while you're at JimmyDoreComedy.com, why don't you become a premium member? Sign up to our mailing list so when they cancel us, we can still stay in touch.